Hey, good hey everybody, and welcome back to a little one on Atlas map editing once again. Uh, this one will be hopefully a fairly quick one, uh, something that I've been working on with a few people in my Discord. Uh, we basically came across a few different issues loading in my template server to G Portal and loading it into Nitrato, and the difference between Steam users and Xbox users. And we just did a whole heap of fault finding trying to work things out. And I'm basically going to do a little video on the things that we found, and hopefully it will help you. Uh, debug any of the issues that you find along the way. So first up, um, what is it that you actually need to be looking at? Uh, so we're going to pull up a few things here. Uh, if we have a look at, uh, this is my Steam folder. So in my Steam folder we have basically under your, your common, your atlas, your shooter game, under saved, there is a new map images cache file folder. And in here, I've cleared this out because this is actually where you have all the saved images for the maps for every server that you've actually logged into online. Uh, the single player ones don't get stored here. Single player is completely separate to this. This is specifically um, your private servers and all that kind of stuff. The ID of your server appears as a folder and to be honest I can probably just get rid of this this is one of the ones we were testing with earlier uh, I just recently redid my server so I've actually just given it a whole brand new ID so if I go over this uh, game server is where I actually have my actual private test server set up uh, the server grid file in here we can actually see that the world atlas ID here that I've actually given it and this is why every time you create a private server you should give it a unique ID because when somebody logs into the game the map files are going to cache against that number and so if you have duplicate numbers uh, and people are logging in and out of different servers that have the same number the map files are going to get confused and they get delivered the wrong map uh, and they won't be able to see things very very nice so this is why it's important to actually have that atlas id is unique uh, and when you're using the SGE, it'll generate a new one. If you create a new map, it'll give you a new ID. You copy and paste that into your file, and that's the one that you want to use. Or you can try and come up with your own just unique number to shove in at spot. So the server should be up and running now. So if I join online, and my lovely picture in the top left is covering up everything, I can kind of see what's going on here. Scarvig test server, select that world. Torchiga Freeport's fine too interesting how the camera is affected. I wonder how that will go with the recording. Uh, me looking at it as I'm doing this, the camera just sort of seizes up whenever there's a high intensity CPU loading, like um, bringing the game into play. Right, so we are in the game itself. We have our brand new character with his lovely red hair. All right, can't pause, but we can pull up our new images cache folder. And so in here, we can actually see what has it actually loaded? And this is what will help you with your debugging of your map file. So if you're uploading your zip file to G Portal or your bulk importing or single file importing into Nitrato and you're questioning yourself, oh, do I need the JPG files? Do I need the PNG files? Which one do I actually upload? Well, here are the files that have actually been loaded. And I can actually already see that there's one missing, which is um, a little bit annoying. So if I pull up have I deleted it? No, oh, okay, I did. Uh, I don't have the overall trade wind file, which actually doesn't help me in this particular one. But I can go into my Atlas, and here we can actually see, and I actually specifically turned off Fog of War, um, because I had Fog of War completely disabled before, but I've got the Fog of War back on. Uh, normally I would see my trade wind overlay. Uh, it should actually show up over the top of this, but I haven't actually got that file. And so if we have a look what it downloaded, it downloaded my region map files, it downloaded the cell, so 00, which is A1, and it downloaded the world map image file. So it downloaded every file that was actually available on the server that's relevant for the grid that I'm in. There is actually another file that's missing, which is called the trade wind image file. And it will actually give you, when you zoom out, it gives you the path that your trade wind is actually actually going along and I'll put that in later on and we can actually have a look at that but what we can actually see is that I've actually got a proper map I have regions and so if I go out to my regions we've got my region map I can jump into polar the polar region exists the golden age exists the main thing there is that fog of war is on so we can actually see that uh, it's doing a bit of weird stuff there uh, by doing that I didn't load those grids did I no so what we're going to do now is we're going to quickly zip off and we're going to find a treasure map and this is always another interesting one, so cheat fly. 
mind you, we can just do a uh, do one if one. Turn that off. Uh, cheat hurt me five hundred. And we did. Uh, I'm just going to respawn on a different island rather quickly. So we want to go to West Isle. It's a nice smaller island. I know there's maps there, basically. We can actually see that the map kind of almost saw it there. And we can see that the map's moved. We now have our Fog of War doing the right thing. Cheat fly. Let's find a map. And we want to find a map for a different grid, basically. This is going to show how the treasure maps work. Because sometimes the treasure maps don't load in. And it becomes a little bit problematic. But we've got to find a treasure map in the first place. It should exist. A little bit... Oh, there we go. We've got several maps here. I heard the little noise. B1, that's a different cell. Okay, let's just see if they haven't loaded quickly. I can't see them. Okay, they have loaded. And so we can actually see, because normally they'd actually be blank. But they have actually loaded in, and we can actually see where they are. But what this has actually done... Okay, so when we actually have a look at this... It's really hard to actually read because of my face is in the way. Yeah. Okay, we can look at it down there. A1, it's the one we're in, but B1. Oh, it's a nice map too. If only I was going to stick around to do it. Okay, so when we're looking at the map, so B1, we'll zoom out. B1 would end up being 0, 1 instead of 0, 0, which is A1. So we can now have a look in our folder here. We can actually see that the grid cell image for 1-0, so I was wrong way around there. It's 1-0 instead of 0-1. But B1, the cell image has loaded for that grid. And so when I picked up the map, that image loaded into that cache folder. And so that's a very telling sign. But again, when we actually look at the image file, it's a JPG file. At the moment, we've only gotten JPG files. If I had that trade wind file, which I said that uh, which should be there, it actually comes in as a PNG. So that trade wind overlay, that, like the main map one that sits over the top and shows you the pathway when you zoom out, that's actually a PNG file. And it makes sense to be a PNG file because you want the transparency to sit over the top of everything else. And it's basically sitting on top of the world map image. So. Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the files from the folder, from the server, so that it doesn't deliver them. Um, some of the, I think it's basically the world map is probably one of the main ones that I'm going to remove. And I'll put that trade one back in and we'll see what effect it has on the server. Uh, okay, so what we can actually see at this point, uh, this is my server grid folder on the game server itself. And I have every single file that's actually uploaded here, PNG and JPG. It turns out that my Tradewind map image is missing the JPG version, but I'm not particularly worried about that because I just want the PNG version. Uh, so what we're going to do is we will accidentally delete the main map. We'll keep the region ones, but um, at the moment we're just, yeah, the main map, it's just gone. Right, we'll keep the cell images and we'll see what basically happens with them. We're going to have the trade wind map is going to be available, but all the rest of them are gone. Uh, I'm going to kick my server off. In the meantime, we are going to delete. Every time you make map changes and you want them to be implemented properly, you need to come into this new map images cache and you need to wipe it out. Xbox is different. We'll talk about Xbox in a little bit, but with the new images uh, cache on the Steam folders, you need to come in. This is on your side of things. This is client side. This is not server side. So on the client side, you come into this folder, you find the server that you want to delete. You need to wipe out the files. And the next time you log in, it will re-deliver any new map files. And so if your server changes stuff, you need to come in here and you need to clean out. Otherwise it won't work. Anyway, I'll get my server started and we'll see what happens. All right, looks like the server's up and running. Let's give it a go. I've wiped the server. I've cleared out the cache. Everything's ready to go. We're logging in. It should ask me to create a new character. But I kept the same ID. I didn't bother creating a new one because my ID should already be unique. Oh, look at that tubby six pack. Let's go with that scrawny old man. Uh, let's go with West Isle. Alright, we look at that's the uh, server. I have mine. It is starting to load. 
get that nice and neat. Okay, we're in the game. Now, if we had a quick look back at the folder at the files that loaded, not that one, we can actually see that the region map files loaded in, the cell image loaded in, and the trade wind overlay also loaded in. So we have a look at our atlas. We can, oh, interesting. We've actually, ah, oh, there we go, yeah, because yeah, it was zoomed in. Uh, I guess if the fog of war was gone, we should actually see the trade window overlay actually pop in. But we can see here, there's no map, there's no map, there's no map, there's no map. Zoom in, boom, there's a map. We've transitioned from the, the map image to the cell image. And we can actually see that because I don't have it, the cell image pops in. And so if you're getting this problem where you only get your map available when you zoom in, there's something going wrong with your world map. Okay, and you need to find out what's going on at that point in time. So already we've basically got more information than what we would have actually known was there before, simply because we're able to interrogate the cache that's been downloaded by someone from the server. And that gives you that little piece of information. Uh, if I cheat give fog of war, take a little bit of a load, boom, it's loaded. And now we can actually see, I don't have a world image, so the fog of war, even though I've gotten rid of it, it's there's still a fog there because we don't have a world map, it's gone. You know, I deleted it, the server can't deliver it. But this is the trade wind overlay that I actually have. It's a really crappy one, but it's the one that I made for my template just for an example so that people actually have something to work with. But we zoom in and we get the cell image to pop in. Oh no, this, oh there we go. Yeah, it took a while. Taking a little while to load. But that's what's going on with that. Uh, if we have a look at our map, same deal. I should be able to zoom in and bomb. Yeah, the map does actually transition as well. But you zoom back out and you lose it. Alright, now let's go find a treasure map. Alright, we got an A2 map this time. It was 1 0 before, it should be 1 0 1 this time. Uh, if we have a look at this, uh, we can actually see the left hand side we've got a blank map. Alright, two blank map. However, so what's actually going on here when we actually look into our folder, we can actually see that we have the cell image for 01 appeared. Very telling. So the reason why we can actually see the map image is because we have the cell image available. Why can't we see the left hand? The left hand, the map there is actually missing because we're missing the overall world map. It's just not there, right? It hasn't been delivered. So we can't see the world map, but in our right hand, we can actually see the cell map. All right, and that is why the map is actually working. And so you can actually look at the reverse too. So if you actually had a map, a treasure map that wasn't actually showing up, why isn't the treasure map there? Well, your cell image might not have actually loaded in. And that's the reason why you can't actually see it. And that's what's going on there. Anyway, uh, that should do that for the moment. All right, well, that pretty much brings us to the end of what I was trying to impart uh, upon what is going on with these map files and potentially what you could actually do for your own private servers and finding out why it's not working. There are a few uh, caveats in all of this. Um, the unfortunate side of things is that if you want to have uh, play with Xbox on private server, uh, you have to go through Nitrato. Nitrato is your only option for a private server right now with how that actually works. Maybe that will change in the future, but right now that's what it is. And it ends up being luck whether or not the map files actually work. Uh, I was actually working with a guy in my Discord, Oasis, uh, and we tried a whole bunch of different things, restarting stuff, deleting the Xbox uh, data files for Atlas and various other bits and pieces, and we just couldn't get it delivered onto the Xbox at all. It just wouldn't work. Eventually put a support ticket in the, to Nitrato, and it's just like, no, sorry, you, you shit out of luck, uh, which was rather unfortunate. But if I connected via Steam onto the Nitrato server, I would have the map files delivered to me. And this is where we've been doing a lot of our testing. And then we had another fellow on there, um, I know Black Chaos, and there was another guy, uh, Green, Green, uh, Green Lantern and uh, LV Viper. 
uh, were in the Discord also talking from a, a G portal and a uh, private server point of view about basically what their experience was. And I jumped onto the, the G portal version and learned a little bit about how you need to zip up very specific files for uploading into the G portal server. I know a little bit about that now. Um, I'm learning a lot about this stuff because um, I actually work off just a computer here that I've actually got for myself. Uh, I just have an old computer that I've set up to run my Arc server and my Atlas test servers. Uh, and I'm potentially interested in starting up my own actual server and just leave it running. Um, and we'll see where that goes. But it needs a little bit more CPU power. It's a little bit light on, but um, it'll do an Arc server, but a 3x3 three three Atlas it kind of handles, but I kind of want a little bit more than 3x3, three three, but we'll see where that goes. That's a little a side note. But yeah, for now, um, yeah. What it ends up being is that all of the files that seem to be delivered from the fold systems on the server are all the JPG files. Every single one of them is JPG. It gets delivered the map, so the cells, the regions, the main map images, they're all JPG. However, the main trade wind overlay, so when you go to the in-game atlas and you zoom right out, that overlay that sits on top of everything, that's PNG. And that seems to be the file system that is uh, delivered to the clients. And so you can take from that, it's like when you ask yourself, oh, what files do I need to upload? Why, why am I not getting the images that I want? And that seems to be what the game wants to deliver. Now, whether in the background, someone like Nitrato or G Portal, maybe you upload all PNGs and then you get delivered JPGs and they do some uh, something in the back end of their systems, I don't know. I haven't even tested that far, but I've just looked at it from the point of view of like, how do I work out what's being delivered? Why is my map black? Why am I not getting what I wanted? And that's when we discovered that you can look into your cache, you can work out what's been given to you, what's missing from my cache, and here's what I've got to do to get it fixed. With Nitrado and Steam players, what I did find was that it took minutes. Okay, so you log into the game and you wait five minutes, and then the map gets delivered. It takes quite a long time. On G-Port, it was almost instantaneous. With my private server here, just on my own hardware, it's instantaneous as well. It's like, it's very quick. You load in, bam, you've got your map files, you're done. And you go and find the treasure map, you pick up the treasure map, bam, it's done. On Nitrato, you wait several minutes. Initially, the map comes up blank and you don't know where it is. But after a little bit of time, give it a few minutes, the cell image will load in. You can go and interrogate your cache and you'll actually see that eventually that once that cell pops into your cache, you're like, okay, we'll go back to the game, I'll have a look. Oh, look, there it is, I can now see my map. And that seems to be what's going on. Uh, but yeah, the real pain there is Xbox, you're kind of being shafted here. And I don't necessarily think that it's gonna be Atlas that's causing the problem. I get, I've heard just through third party information that, you know, uh, Atlas is basically saying it's a Nitrato issue and Nitrato is saying it's an Atlas issue. But then when you actually go and look at how it's handled, um, at least from, a, from an outside perspective, everything else works. You take a server and you put it on G portal, you run it privately, all the map images get loaded properly. Even connecting Steam to Nitrato, the map images work properly. You connect an Xbox, you're lucky. If you're lucky, apparently it will work, but not everybody gets luck, all right? And that's just a little bit odd. And then, you know, you look at the official. The official map loads every single bloody time. Obviously, they get a little bit more dedicated because they're paying probably a lot of extra cash to make it all work, and they probably have direct access to control all the stuff that they're doing, but, you know, so be and so forth. Um, but that brings us to the end of the video, and so, yeah. Hopefully this helps people out that are trying to run their own private service and trying to work out why why have I got a black map? What's going on? Uh, and yeah, hopefully this will help you out in discovering, give you a little bit more information in how to work it all out. Um, yeah, thanks for listening in. Hopefully uh, you can like, subscribe and all the rest of that sort of stuff. It really helps out the channel, I'm trying to grow it a little bit more these days. And so every little bit of engagement helps, even if you just leave a comment to say, yeah, that's really good, helpful or otherwise, you know, thanks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and probably a real big shout out to I Love Games, who's been commenting on my videos quite a lot lately and actually been dropping some cash. That's been a uh, big cheers to you. And um, yeah. You can actually join the channel for, I, th oh, I can't even remember what I said it to, it was like two or three, one or two dollars a month or something like that to support the channel and things like that. Uh, other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Catch you later.